All right, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial today teaching you how to import uh, Make FT ROM and the, the Mega Man 2 Family Tracker stuff into your game or your ROM hack. Um, I've seen a lot of questions about this, and with the final release, uh, they've made it more simple than ever. So I'm going to go through right now. Uh, keep it nice and quick. So all I have in my folder so far, I have a little tutorial folder, is uh, the OG games. So, you know, just classic Mega Man 2 or Rock Man 2, whichever one you want to use, uh, it's up to you. And uh, I'll go right from the beginning. So you want to go to the uh, romhacking.net. Uh, the website pretty much has all the tools you need, uh, except for one tool that we'll get somewhere else. Uh, and you want to go find this Make FT ROM. You'll see it talks about, you know, FT2 and all the things we need here. Uh, and you want to go to this download link. When you click it, it'll give you a prompt, of course. Uh, download it into your folder. It'll give you a little zip. And you want to do the same thing here with the Mega Man 2 FT or the Famicom or the Famitracker conversion. So scroll on down to download. I think this one you can patch online. Uh, it's not necessary to download it, but I find it a little bit easier. And so uh, with our files downloaded, uh, I find it easier to just extract it all into the same spot. Uh, yeah, just fine. Uh, you can keep the zips or delete them. It's up to you. Uh, I'll just delete them for the sake of cleanliness. And all right, so you'll see that you have this big folder filled with stuff. Uh, there's actually the first thing you need to do is there's one more file we need to make this work. So if you click on the README, uh, blow it up here. We'll talk about two prerequisites that you need to make this work. Um, and these prerequisites uh, is the base ROM, which we already talked about. Uh, you know, the game itself, uh, which we're, we, have to, we have to do something to it. But before we do that, we need to do this. Uh, the DN Fama Tracker specifically. So if you copy and paste this URL and go over to, you know, your website or whatever you use, paste that in, uh, you'll get this website. Scroll on down, go to download releases. I clicked on download. Uh, for myself, I did what worked for my operating system. So I did 64. And again, just download that to the same folder as everything else. And once that's done, go back to your folder where you downloaded it. You should see the file. Where is it? There it is, Fama Tracker. Again, extract it here. Make sure everything is in the exact same file. You make sure that you know, all your stuff's in the same spot. Uh, and yeah, I think at that point, we are ready to sort of begin the process of importing the game or like patching the file and getting it all ready. So if you head on over to your OG games, um, I'm going to do just Mega Man 2, but the process works the same. You just would change the uh, uh, the input file to the file you need. So what I usually do, you don't ha you don't have to do it this way, whichever works for you. Uh, but I assume you have a basic understanding of how to use a BPS or IPS file. Essentially, it's just a patch. So you want to use the one that's for your game. For me, it's Mega Man F2. Uh, I gotta find my tutorial video. Uh, because we're doing we want F, Mega Man F2 because we're doing Mega Man 2. And uh, you'll see it says Mega Man, right? Save that file. You see it over here, Mega Man F2. Uh, the demo already has songs included, so unless you just want to hear the songs, you don't want to use that one. And the Rock Man 2 one is for Rock Man 2, so this is the one you'd want to use for Rock Man 2. Um, at this point. Uh, your file is ready to go. Your your ROM file is ready to be uh, ready for music. And so uh, there's one step you need to do uh, for your config file. So you might be wondering how um, how do we set up the file? How do how does the ROM know to pull the songs? Um, if you open this file here, the demo config over in your base folder here, um, open this up. You'll notice it says a bunch of information. Uh, you'll notice at the top here it talks about the config file. You don't need to worry about that. It talks about a track directory and it says tracks. So this is something you need to build yourself. And by build, I mean, just make a folder in this right here. Just call it tracks it's in the same base file, same spot as everything, right? Uh, and this is where you're going to be putting your Fama Tracker files. So if you don't have any, um, you can go over to the Fama Tracker website. If you go over to their form and search for 2A03, uh, like this, this, these words right here. You can find all sorts of songs. Um, essentially, the, the requirements for this program requires very specific uh, NES files, uh, Famitracker files. 
So anything with a 2A03 has a good chance of working. Um, there is some limitations that can happen. Uh, it can't exceed a certain point, a certain amount of uh, memory. I think that's in the, the usage. If you need more documentation, uh, you can definitely find that in the usage.html. Um, I'm really just showing you a quick setup here. Um, so let's just say I downloaded some files. You can see them here uh, from Famatracker already from the website. Uh, so I have this Xmas, Xmas song. It's uh, Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. I used it in uh, Man 2, I believe from Bubble Man stage. So wh whatever your FTM file is, you just, wherever you want to get it from, or you make it yourself using Famatracker, uh, whatever you do, just make sure you have it. Make sure it's under the certain requirements, the QA03, uh, only 1.5 kilobytes of space for the DPCM samples or DCPM. Um, and you'll know if it works or not. So essentially you want to put anything in your tracks. Um, for some files, it needs something called bhop. And honestly, I just find it's easier just to put everything in the bhop. Um, so if you're finding it's not working in just the track folder, make something called bhop and then put that in there. I actually don't even know what it means. I've just been doing it because I've noticed it worked. Uh, some, it was mentioned for something. I think it has something to do with the, the samples or the DCM, EPCM stuff. But anyways, uh, with this config file, the demo config.json5, uh, you'll notice we've now created the tracks folder. Uh, the input ROM, that's the one we just created. Remember the file we made with the, this file name? Um, so that's how you know you have the correct input file. Uh, and then last but not least, the output ROM. Uh, you can name this whatever you like. Uh, sometimes I put an extra number just so I know, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's the one I need. Let's put like 420 or something. You know, just make it look really obvious for this example. Um, there's the C2 files. Uh, this program accepts both C2 and Famine Tracker files. So if you're more familiar with the Capcom music format, you can actually add those files and have them work at the same time, um, which is really cool. Like you can have both file types in the ROM. Um, I'll be f specifically focusing on the FT files, sort of the second half. Uh, you'll notice the, f the example file comes with a bunch of stuff already filled out. Um, think of it more of just like an example. Uh, none of the files are actually included. Um, I think some of these are included, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you can pretty much ignore this part or even delete it and it should still work. Um, but yeah, so what you need to do here is since we don't have any of these songs, you could use it as a base. So you can see the file format here. So you create what you're going to name the song. You see like the directory here in quotes. So like that B-hop thing we talked about. Uh, and then there's some features you can do like swapping the square channels. Um, you don't really have to worry about this too much. Unless you're noticing the song sounds really messed up. Um, but yeah, so everything between the brackets here, you can delete essentially. And once you've had that done, uh, essentially, we're gonna do that squiggly bracket, type in the name. So we have Xmas, we'll name it that. It was in our bhop folder, xmas.ftm. And you just wanna make sure you put the, you make sure you have the quotes and make sure you have the, the, the little squiggly brackets and the comma. Uh, so there's all these songs, uh, it won't work unless all of the songs exist. So for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to copy paste the song into every slot. Um, you can obviously make it any song. You can have repeat songs. You can use, I think songs from the OG game. You can also use null as you see here, like in the OG game where you can just have no song playing. Um, so it's really up to you. There's even refight songs, which is really cool. Um, there's a lot of options here. Uh, so songs that originally weren't that different, you can now add more differences. And I believe there's even more expanded stuff you can do beyond just this. Uh, but you'll notice, so all the songs are named. This is track map. Essentially tells you where you're going to put the song. So whatever name I gave it. So here I named it Xmas. That's the name I would use in quotes for each, for each stage. And then you just want to make sure you save the file, like control save or whatever you want to do. And at this point, all you should have to do is drag in the demo config file here into the make FT. And you'll notice it'll say press enter to continue. This is good. If you see this, that means everything worked out. Um, if it pops up an error message or talks about overflows or at something, um, it's actually very descriptive. If you've messed up a song title or something's missing, it, it's very descriptive. Um, but at this point, if we uh, open up, uh, Open up our thing. Let me just pause this. Here's, and you'll see here the, the 420 file that it talked about. It generates it in the folder. So if I check it out here, just for our, for our testing purposes.
And there it is. So if you ever need to switch out the song, all you have to do is just reopen your config file. Uh, and then you can add in the songs, you know, by adding whatever it is, like next, like putting the name. And then if it's in a B-hop, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then of course, putting in the names where you need to. And then I just save, redrag in the thing, and it'll generate a new file. Uh, you can even give it a new name, so if you call it like 421, you know what I mean? Uh, this doesn't actually, it actually exist. But if I made it like 421, and I dragged it in, you'll notice it made a new file. So, yeah, go crazy, have fun, and uh, thanks for watching. Big Chungus.